Chicago. Chicago, the big windy Windies. apple. <laughs> We finally made it. You could see the skyline. Right, we there were, it is, we the goal. There. Or the, the <laughs> oncoming monstrosity, whichever right. it was. The big thing that we were like, how are we gonna do this? And so, because it was like, all right, we're about to hit this during the peak of traffic, let's pull off and regroup. Right. We started in Milwaukee, it's been Six hours. Six ish. hours. Yeah, we like made 80 it. Miles, yeah, something like that. Yeah, about 80 miles, and we were going to do 140, so we had about 60 ish left. But yeah, I was starting to get a little hangry, and I was like, let's get a plan together. Yeah. Especially Thad. Let's get him on the same page. Right. Since he's out front, we don't know what's going to happen here. What the fuck is up? We're stopped in Chicago at a Target. It's hot. We passed by a bank sign and said it's 94 out. The ride here has had some hiccups. This is how you make friends. For me personally, the bike's running. It is bogging out at like a little past 35, which is weird. I don't know if it's the added weight or what, but uh, no suspension is killing me. It hurts. Every bump, every pothole. So we fueled up and we got somewhat of a game plan and we knew because we weren't like a big force coming through this city full of cars, we would need to kind of stay together and be a unit, uh, which is easier said than done. Right, that, I mean the basic idea is don't pass anyone, which we can't do. And, and don't and blow a light. Don't blow lights. light. Oh shit. Oh, damn it, the light, fuck. I hope they all run it. It's Chicago, run it. That's my law. If you're riding in a group of motorcycles, yeah, yeah stay together. Right. And we're all like two scooter lengths apart, so it shouldn't be too hard. We yeah. just don't want a car to get between us and Thad, and he keeps going, we don't know where we're headed. Uh -huh. you know? We had a game plan, right. and we were ready to go. All right, boys, this is the main drag. Hop back on the bikes, start them back up, and then it's stoplight, 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 stoplight. Come on. Oh shit. Have, I'm the whole time stressed out. All right, Ben, watch out for the bumps here. Okay. <laughs> oh, Ben, you all right, Ben? Chicago! I don't like big congested areas. I'm on the smallest bike. This bus don't give a fuck. This is where I get put by a fucking semi. Like, yeah. you're on a desk chair. What's this? Watch the bus, guys. The bus might drop over. You never know. Yeah, I don't have a mirror that works to see behind me or anything like that. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Don't oh, guys. What's this guy yelling at? Watching this guy. This guy. <laughs> oh, he's from Indiana too! Yeah, that's the bridge from Batman, remember? <laughs> One thing you're going to notice, and maybe we just do a big montage of it, I don't know, but Thad would not let go of his horn. Any chance he had, he was railing that horn. Fuck 
he had a chance to hit the brakes, he was gonna do. Like. We pulled up on a guy like right next to a bike share guy. Oh shit. And yeah. you could tell he was like, I'm not gonna look back. I'm not gonna look at these yeah, guys. These idiots. <laughs> what do you do you think his thing is like, you know, Chicago has a lot of people. That's a lot of people I can piss off. Yeah. <laughs> them get in the middle lane the right lane's gonna be all buses and stop shit we should just stick in the middle lane right behind them for a while all right we got enough of red light i'm gonna roll this fucking thing Now we're on Michigan Avenue. It started to get more fun to me because it was like, oh yeah, we kind of have a superpower of like, we can kind of get around a car, we can split around it, rejoin. Uh -huh. It's like a moving amoeba organism coming through right. the city. Right, yeah, that can the gelatinous of, Or birds or something, yeah, <laughs> gelatinous cube. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine owning a car here. It was fun to like drive through the city. It's one of those things that's like, you never picture yourself being on that. Right, in there. that spot. <laughs> I wonder how many mini bikes have been down here riding before, Ben. Are you the first? Watch this car. That whole famous, like, those fountains with the, the bean. yeah, the bean and all that, and here I am on this thing, like. So that's the bean and shit's up there. That was kind of fun. It's like, here we are in this sort of iconic spot. Yeah. That wasn't a long stretch. We got through yeah. Chicago pretty quick. Yeah, I feel like we were out of it a lot faster because there was so much buildup of like you can see the skyline there and everything and all the stoplights and then boop we're out yep. now it's the south side of chicago which is like a totally different yeah. driving style it's completely a shift from like five minutes ago we're in this really like bustly urban city and then you hit the south side and then all those nice roads are right. gone right. and uh, there's a train all along that so we did ride along a train the whole time yeah. but that road next to it was complete trash god damn this one's the worst so far Sure, it's scary for you guys, but then it's like double down worse for me because I have no suspension. Right. And what do you say behind just in case shit falls off? And Thad was like the perfect lookout man. Oh, Ben, this is straight to the left, Ben. He was up front, taking the brunt of the potholes, and he'd always hell, or yell, Ben, pothole, 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 pothole. Yeah, ben, watch out, right here. And so he must have got his mama bear thing on all of a sudden, because he yeah. would stop being 
a dick. Right. <laughs> you know? Or there were just, there's no more people to piss off. Right. I've, I've completed my day. Yes. So now I'll make sure Ben's all right. Watch out for this bump. There's another bump, Ben. Yeah, so he pulled, he was like, he gets a point for that for sure. Yeah. Like, well, we made it through Chicago, we got through this thing, let's pull off and like take a quick little break and we found this little beach access yeah, point. Right. But I don't know what the beach was called. Yeah, it's like south side Chicago, Indiana, yeah. almost there. Something. Sand dune. It's the beach. This is where you go swimming. We should get a photo of all of our bikes lined up with that in the background. What just happened? Where do we where are we? We're uh, just south of Chicago. Uh, you can see the skyline up there across the lake, um, but we made it through. Uh, we didn't really get a chance to stop and hang out or check out the sights, but uh, we got through. So we've come from Milwaukee to Chicago. The sun's starting to go down, but I think we can uh, make it to the camp before yeah. it gets dark. How's your ass feel? Can't feel it. That's how it feels. I had to dodge so many potholes, and not so many like, Roads are difficult. <laughs> are you trying to get a flare? I'm, try I'm being artistic. Oh, okay. I was getting the shit kicked out of me. And, uh, you know, you gotta dip, dive, dip, dive, dodge, and dive if you want to survive on something with no suspension. Maybe you should check if uh, Thad's horn still works. Uh, so we stopped and got to like see the sun was already kind of coming yeah. down. It was already like golden hour by that point. We had a lot longer than we thought right. in our head because I think at that point we were like, oh, we got about an hour left. Right. Nope. Let's go to fucking Gary before it gets dark. in uh, Top Gun. <laughs> Is that Biff's casino up there? Welcome to Indiana. You leave like that city look and you get into this industrial... Steel mills, like what well, you think of Gary, but it's the whole sort of that steel area. region of the, of the state. Yes. And plus now we're in our Fourth state? No, third state. Indiana. Yeah, third state. Third state. Yes. Hammond, Indiana. Watch out, pothole. Oh, shit. All right, we need to follow this left lane here. Nope, we can't be straight ahead. We're clear, clear. And that felt like good, you know, it was not stressful anymore and we were in a good spot. And we made it through Chicago, we can handle whatever's coming. Right, and then we took a wrong turn. Oh, fuck, oh, oh, big hole. I fucked up, sorry. We're lost. Oh shit, we gotta go all the way back and go around. We got a little bit of uh, sunlight left, but not much. And so he took us around this one turn and then we ended up into a dead end. No! So we had to like backtrack another 20 minutes, but before we did that, we all tried to do burnout. Hey Nick, check out this cool ass burnout. Might as well throw up a little rooster tail. Yeah. <laughs> Nitro Circus! 
<laughs> I said, I'm, I'm leaving you guys. <laughs> wait, Dad, wait. We don't know where we're going. As we were getting closer to Gary, we actually had some people pull up next to us and like, wish us the best of luck. We're going from, we started in uh, Milwaukee this morning. Yeah, we're going to uh, Traverse City, Michigan, 400 miles. They're just like, hey, we came from Milwaukee and we're going to Michigan. And they're like, oh, God be with you. Or... <laughs> Bless, blessings be with you. Yeah, yeah. Big hole, big hole, big hole. Oh, shit, man, be careful, big hole. Ah! Shit. Nice skid mark. We finally like got back on track and made our way into Gary. By this point, you know, we were pretty close to running out of daylight. Uh, we still had a good ways to go. And, you know, Gary doesn't have the best of reputations. Yeah, it's not somewhere you want to linger, I guess. Like we're just gonna get, let's just get through Gary, get right. to the other side and go to bed, basically. But, we had a big fan of Gary with us. Yeah, Thad, uh, Scary Gary, Scary Gary. So as long as I've known him, like since high school, his whole thing has been bandos, abandoned buildings or that urban exploration kind of thing. He travels to go check out these abandoned buildings and Gary is the gold mine of yeah. abandoned buildings. Since we were there, right. might as well go check out one of his favorite spots. Show you this, this textile mill, I think is what it is, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, oh, we're gonna go check out this textile mill and it'll be really quick guys, right. like and no we problem. Like, we have no time. We right. have like if no light dark, left. We're gonna get a flat tire and Gary in the dark. Yeah. Oh my God, Thad. Yeah, I don't know. What are we? Gary, Indiana. Abandoned car. Oh wow, that is super cool. Down this sketchy trail thing that's yeah. like a road, sidewalk, whatever. Back to this like abandoned warehouse thing right. with open manhole that we could have easily felt like I could have just, my whole bike and everything. Right. And I think I stopped and called the support truck like, hey, don't come down here. Right. Like you're not gonna be able to turn around and they were kind of like, uh, you know, we, we already figured that out. Is the truck coming? Not in bolt. But we kept going and we finally came to this like opening to what turned out to be just a, a tire graveyard. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it was bags. Were like bags of clothes? Clothes. Those, like yeah. like it was like if a TJ Maxx didn't know what to do with their the old stuff, right. they threw it all there in a tire barn. <laughs> It was a huge building though. Massive. And it was like there was multiple buildings throughout right. that whole area. And we pulled in and Thad was like, check it out, check it out. And it's like, dude, it's dark. We can't really see anything <laughs> right. here. Oh, there's a fuck ton of glass. It's the, the floor is all glass. Guys, it's all glass on the ground. Like, 
We've already had a flat tire. Right. We're Let's running out of time. Spend a bunch of time right. here. Again, I don't want a flat tire at dark at Gary. Let's go. Uh huh. Especially in a spot that's like unmarked. Right. Where <laughs> even are we? Yeah. <laughs> and we lost service at that point because yeah. I remember the truck called us and then you just like couldn't get a hold of them. Jake, Jake called me, but then I couldn't hear him. We turned back and came to this like little area that widened out and we hung out there, like peed at the, the local mattress that was there <laughs> where all the cool kids go. And piss on their mattress. Uh -huh. Sorry, what's I, back there? I tried to answer like three oh, times, but it, we almost made it, but it just kept getting narrower. I've never seen anyone living back there. And I was here in fucking January. There's a bed right there. And we probably had, what, 20 minutes of light left. Yeah. So we finally were like, okay, let's just make it to the campground. But 20 we, minutes of light and an hour and a half of driving. Right, yeah. which we didn't know at the time yeah. that it was that much left. Yeah. But we needed gas yet, and so we pulled off in this like, eh, part of town right. and uh, got some gas. By the time we were all fried, right. batteries were almost all dead. Our energy was depleted. Right. But I remember like, I'm gonna get myself like a, a nice cold Pepsi. So when we get back to the campground, I'm, man, it's gonna be so good, I'm so hot. Yeah. Like that will be a nice reward, reward. for the day. We left the gas station and it, the sun was gone. Um, and then we really got to see how fantastic our headlights were. We ended up driving a good hour and a half and I remember it started to get colder because we were sweaty, still not having coats on or anything. Right. along like the Lake Michigan area, getting into Michigan City, and it was just trees, surrounding trees, and it was just bunk, 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 bunk. And eventually, we finally like, okay, here's our campground. It's like to the right, and it's only like 10 minutes away. And then a, a big old train came through, and Thad was all excited, so we pulled off and, and filmed that. our way in to the campground. Yeah, quiet as possible. It's late, it's dark. But that, nope, there's people here. Right. That means I can make somebody mad. Me! <laughs> And it's like 11 p.m. Uh, and we stroll up, loud, honking, but at least we finally made it. Uh, so we should go over by the picnic table where the lantern is. So, you know, it was something 
that we thought we were going to do in eight maybe hours at the right. longest and right. it took us like 11, 11 hours. hours. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody's here. Yay. Yeah. And when you think about it, 140 miles. Yeah, I just hop in my car and like that's, you know, my two map hours. says two hours. <laughs> Yeah. You know, but no, like we're going 30 miles an hour. Yeah. We stop every hour uh -huh. because of something. Oh, shit. It's just a totally different experience. You know, in your car, it's two hours. On a mini bike, uh, I don't know, 12 hours, and you age a few years. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you're not just like, I'm going to get in this box with air conditioning and listen to a uh, okay. podcast. Well, Mark Marin's going to like entertain me until I get there. Yeah. It's. <laughs> we made it. 160 miles. I think I left my ass back in Wisconsin. Glenn, what do you think, man? Ooh. 11 hours. Oh, 11 hours of continuous shit. Oh, feels good to be stopped. Set up camp, just uh, camp, pitch some tents in the dark, and then break them down and do it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got dumb footage too. Yeah, I'm stiff, my hands are like numb from little tiny yeah. vibrating single cylinder all day. It was a long but eventful day. Hey, Thad, come in the spotlight and let me hear about it a little bit more. What hurts? Tell me what hurts. My back. Your back, back hurts? My back. Why does it hurt? <clears throat> Why does your back hurt? I've got too many Mountain Dews in my backpack. <laughs> all right, so if we had to wrap this night up, what would we want to say about it? Tell me success. success. Success? Success. Day one, success. success. It was fun. What do we have in store for tomorrow? Hopefully, what are we doing? Uh, maybe a more leisurely pace. Yeah. And we did a couple major cities, so I don't think we have any more major, major cities. cities to deal with. Yeah. So what are we doing tomorrow, though? I don't tomorrow even know. Is, I didn't read the itinerary. I, I Please no invite me what like, we're doing when, tomorrow. What is the go around the, keep going up and around the lake? Keep yeah. going. Yeah. Keep well, the lake we're right next left. to Michigan. Yeah, we're, we're getting Michigan close to Michigan. City. Yeah. So we're gonna hit Michigan and then that's like the last state we're going into. It's all Michigan all the way up to Traverse City. So what's the call time tomorrow that we're heading out of here? Uh, whenever we get up. Yeah. <laughs> so no rush. No, no rush. Yeah, so even though we had made it, we were finally done it. We were eating dinner and we were like gonna get a shower and everything. No, Nick's day wasn't quite over with. He still had to endure uh, a little visit from a, a critter of the night. <laughs> a creature of the night. So that was our first day. That was our first day of this crazy trip and we were already dead. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, share, subscribe, do whatever you gotta yeah. do. And uh, we'll be bringing you a new one in two weeks. There's literally nothing to throw at it. So I was like, fuck it, send, bam. Throw my fucking sandal at him. Unfazed. <laughs> I was like, all right, here's my other one. Bam. Throw my second fit sandal at him. Unfazed. Like, dude, and this thing is fucking huge. I'm like, all right, I gotta tread slowly with this one. So then I walk over here and take this huge fucking log, whack it on the fucking raccoon, doesn't even fucking move.